Candle Shoe is a Disney film from 1977, and I don't know how I feel about this one. This was directed by Norman Tokar and stars Jodie Foster as Casey. We also have David Niven and Helen Hayes as some very interesting characters. Helen Hayes plays Lady St. Edmund, and she lives in Candle Shoe, which is an English manor. Before I was watching this, I had no idea what Candle Shoe was. I definitely wouldn't have guessed that it was a stately home, but it's absolutely beautiful. According to IMDb, the house itself is actually um, in Warwickshire, and I don't know if it's open to the public, but if it is, I'd rather like to visit it, as the exterior is stunning. But the film is about uh, an orphan, Casey, played of course by Jodie Foster, and a very sly character who team up to go to Candleshoe to pose Casey as Lady St Edmund's long lost granddaughter. And they hope to do this because allowing them into the house will give them the chance to find this treasure that was apparently hidden there long, long ago. And I won't say any more than that about the specifics. But as a narrative, it's it's pretty well developed. The pacing is generally good. It got to the point pretty quickly while giving us a little bit of time to set up and get to know Casey as a character and, and what the character's backstory was. And then we very quickly got to the manor and we got to familiarise ourselves with the, with the home and the various people who work there. And it was absolutely fine, but I didn't love it. I, I never really felt emotionally invested in it. But it definitely was interesting to some degree. It was unpredictable, to put it that way. I didn't know exactly what would happen. I didn't really have any strong predictions. But certainly there are things that happened that I hadn't anticipated. So that meant that I was relatively engaged in it. There was always something happening that maybe took me by surprise or I hadn't seen coming. So it wasn't too bad. But at the same time, I just didn't love it. As I said, I was never emotionally invested in it. I never really cared whether they found the treasure or what happened with Casey. I think maybe slightly I was concerned with what would happen with Casey. I, I certainly wanted the best for her. But I think that's more less me really liking the character and more me really liking Jodie Foster and enjoying her performance and her performance in this of course was very good. The performances across the board are fine, the setting is beautiful, the narrative flows well enough and it's not completely predictable. So all things considered, Candleshoe is not a bad film. I just, I didn't love it. I didn't mind watching it but I wouldn't watch it again, put it that way. However, if it sounds like it would appeal to you, I'd say it's a film that's worth watching at least once, Jodie Foster in particular was brilliant in this, but I think for me, once is probably enough.